Dada is a Simon disciple. John! <laughs> Be careful! Take a uh, selfie over there.
Jesus is taken to the home of the high priest. There are these religious leaders. These men swore to uphold the word of God. The laws of God would break every law that was holy because they would carry on the character. Jagged rocks, even broken bones from previous victims. It would fall on his back 39 times. The maximum punishment allowed under law. They would rip and claw at him. It would be a torture that few would survive. And the guards have him ready now. They tied him like an animal to a post. And the strong armed guards are ready to begin the scourging of Jesus. Blow! At the blow! At the blow! would fall upon his back. Another guard said, I'll take the rest of it. And he takes the whip and begins again and again and again. Blood flying in every direction, ripping his back into shreds. But in the middle of this, I'm constrained right now. For you see, I want you to look at this. I want hundred new places now. Jesus. The guards will mock him. Oh, he's a king. Well, let's honor the king. Let's respect the king. But even then, even then, they're not satisfied. Final punches, final kicks, final blows, final torture. But even this guard, this captain of the guard said, stop, get him out of here. Take him back to the governor. Pilate had hoped he'd never see the face of Jesus again. Pilate had hoped that he might even die. Pilate had hoped that the religious leaders would come and say, we've had enough, stop. But none of that happened. Jesus is coming back. Pilate is nervously waiting. During this time... Jesus to 
to a cross. They go to the foot of the cross and they find a spike so huge it could penetrate both feet crossed at the ankle and they would finish their job. Jesus, the sun, he drops into that hole. His body now feels the searing pain of crucifixion. You see, the way a man dies on a cross is not what you might think. The doctors have analyzed this Roman torture and they say what begins to happen as the weight of a grown man's body begins to pull on the spikes in his hands and feet. The muscle and the sinew and the flesh begin to separate and the body begins to sag. And he reaches a position where you can't breathe like that. And so every time he takes a breath, he makes a cruel decision to put the weight of his entire body on the spike in his feet and push himself up and gasp for breath. But every time he does that, the pain of the weight on his feet races up his legs and his backbone explodes in his brain. And that's how you breathe. Nailed to a cross. He stays in that position until his lungs are burning and screaming for air. Then he does it all over again. Surely that's enough. But they mock him. They tell him, prove us, prove to us who you are. Show us who you are. In his pain, Jesus looks at each me. They're on the cross, they need for sinners. Who read the curse is blood atoned.
watch the Easter play. Easter play here in Calvary. But she sleeps the whole hour. Where she's under medication. It makes her drowsy. She's good now. Amari. She feels so sleepy. She feels she's still so sleepy. Because of the Kepra medicine. Yeah. Up down. Up down. Uh, oh mosquito. Mosquito mosquito. Oh, go with mosquito. <laughs> Waiting for Dada. They help. See what do they do? I know. They help to keep all the props. Yeah. Keep that leg. Keep that mighty leg. We're waiting to Dada John. We're here in the parking lot. This baby is still so drowsy. I hope you see the I hope you see the play mighty. Yes, you are. You just sleep in the whole hour, the whole play. I understand. Yeah. Mm, I love this baby. Don't be happy. Nya chi apu inya se abba. Abba. Dada is there. Dada is there. I know. Dada. This play with Simon. Simon!